Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a video on an update of the 2mm Napoleonic project. So, I've been working on some more sculptures, uh, models uh, for that. So I've finished the French and the English, so stovepipe hats and then just regular kind of conical shake shakos. Um, I've also gone in now and actually uh, tried to use my Italian buildings and make them into two millimeter these are too small i need to adjust the size but it's kind of a proof of concept i guess uh first go um in blucher the rules has the uh a, a town basically being a base width um of an area so when you got a unit that's occupying it it's occupying it so that's what uh this is a first go of so again, we're trying, uh, we're going to go for Peninsula Ward first. So that's what we're, that's why I tried to use those. Um, the other thing, I think I showed this in my last video, but this is a, a further concept um, kind of playing out here. So this is what each base is going to look like um, with some variation, of course, but um, it's 80 by 80. Uh, these are magnetized, um, so you can change them out uh and have a pretty modular system um all these tokens are on there as well so all of these are on my website for free uh, are they? yeah i think yeah all the blucher tokens are for free um the models of course are not so the but this is an idea so 80 by 80 and that's basically what a uh unit in our blucher uh game is going to look like so uh, again, pretty happy with how that's going. So one thing I have been doing is actually uh, modeling some 2 millimeter cavalry. So Napoleonics is just such a rabbit hole. And so there's so many different types of cav out there. Uh, same thing with units. The, the, the good thing is, is that most of them center around hats basically from what you could see pretty much at the two millimeter level except for the difference between lancers and other calves so these are actually some helmeted uh crested helmed uh, lancers uh yeah very happy with how they look um hard to to pick out there but let me see if i can get another one so you can actually see that I got, I think, I think they call them the Gambians um, on the end of their lances there. But these guys are just at, uh, at the ready. Um, so I've also gotten, I decided to model some so that they were kind of in a, uh, oh, a, a V shape as they charged forward. So this is uh, some of those. I think these are... Yeah, these are the bearskins um, hats. So nice, big, and tall. Sorry about the focus there. Um, and then I've I've been working on some other stuff. So, anyways, that's what I've been uh, doing this week. Uh, kind of working like mad to try to get some of this stuff uh, situated, and uh, really happy with how it's coming out. I should have the cavalry up, uh, a cav up on the website by the end of the week. Um, I already have the infantry the basic sets of the infantry out and we'll plan to go back to those i also decided to include um artillery in the infantry packs um just because a lot of the artillery crews also were wearing um similar style uh hats and things like that so that's it we'll talk to you later